Welcome back, my name is Monroe and I'm here with my good friend Dr. Jim Kennedy and today we're going to go over the top five shoulder exercises that you can do if you are doing any kind of CrossFit training or weight training. Let me go. So today we're going over the top five exercises for the shoulder. All these exercises and the equipment that you'll need are an exercise band, cross ball, the full ruler, and the kettlebell. And guys, don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. We will have one bonus mobilization that you're not gonna wanna miss. All right, so for this mobilization, we're gonna work on rolling out the pec minor muscle. In order to find the pec minor muscle, you can put your arm out to the side. This upper wall of the armpit contains the pec major and the pec minor muscle. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my arm out here. I'm gonna take this lacrosse ball. I'm gonna pull it from the outside towards the inside to tack that muscle down and pull the slack out of it, and I'm gonna pin it here. Now from this position, I'm gonna take this arm, I'm gonna go down and all the way up and all the way back. Just like with any other muscle, the areas where it's most tender is the area that you wanna spend the most time. All right, so for this mobilization, we're gonna be working on rolling out the lat. The lat comes off of the lower back, comes all the way up, wraps around and plugs in on the front part of the arm here. So I'm gonna hop down on the ground. I'm gonna bring my arm out and up like this. And from this position, I'm gonna put my body weight back here. I'm gonna start rolling around, looking for areas where it's really tight. If the pressure's too much, you could put more weight through your body. If you want a little more, you could bridge up and put more weight through here. Now I'm gonna rock back and forth and I'm gonna trace that lat muscle all the way down to where it plugs in on the pelvis. And this is also one of my favorite warm-up exercises. These are banded pull-aparts. The reason why I really like this is because a lot of people are overly strong in the front and they're not good at recruiting the muscles in the backside. So I'm gonna tuck my shoulders down and back. I'm gonna grab about shoulder width apart. And from here, I'm gonna pull that band all the way out. That band should come right across at the nipple line here. Okay, this exercise can be done with palms over or palms under in a supinated grip. So from here, I'm just gonna pull out, nice slow and control, and all the way back in. Again, still feeling it right in the middle of those shoulder blades and lower trap, middle trap area. Another really good shoulder warm up exercise is to grab a kettlebell. We're gonna bring this kettlebell up, right up to here, okay? Notice how the bell is up top. This creates instability. Whenever we have instability, it forces our muscles to fire. I'm gonna start here with my shoulder rolled forward. I'm gonna pull that shoulder back and then press it up overhead like this. The reason why we do it this way is because this instability is gonna engage all those rotator cuff muscles that we need firing for when we're doing explosive Olympic weight lifts. Now, over here we got crossover symmetry bands. One of my favorite ways to warm up in the gym or rehab exercises to do in the clinic. We're gonna start with the bands crossed over. From here, we're gonna do a row and pull them back. We're gonna tuck those shoulder blades down and back. We're gonna externally rotate the shoulders and then we're gonna press it up overhead. If you don't have crossover symmetry at your gym, we can easily get the same exercise with these two bands set up here. From here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna take a step back. Okay, so this is still pulling me forward. Pinch those shoulder blades back and I'm gonna press up overhead. Again, those bands are pulling me forward. That's gonna engage all those rotator cuff muscles while we're warming up those deltoids for our overhead exercises at the gym. And as promised, the bonus exercise, okay? This is a trap scrub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna approach the bar like this. I'm gonna hop underneath it and I'm gonna pull my body forward on it a little bit so I could trap that upper trapezius muscle here. I got my hand here steadying the bar, and from here, I'm gonna bring that arm all the way up, all the way back. Now, if you want a little extra stretch on here, we could bring that arm down, turn the head the opposite direction, and bring that chin down. Now we have that upper trap muscle really locked out, and we're in complete control here. Really nice way of lengthening out these trap muscles. And with those few exercises, you should have a great place to start building a daily routine to keep your shoulders healthy, happy, and strong. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know which one of these you got the most out of. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one, and I'll see you soon.